what's up goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook today we're making oven baked chicken drumsticks in the kitchen past season simple make sure you subscribe goodie if you have not already and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any of these uploads for all i'm returning goodie on the don't know my love on the ready for cook come on let's cook look what prayer can do hypocrite and bad mind must do the same mouth what tear for you how the same one them would turn round and boo yeah. pray me I use and win pray me I use and win all right goodies ready for cook let's cook now we have our drumsticks here that has been washed nice and clean with salt lemon juice and vinegar make sure say your drumsticks them nice and clean before you actually start seasoning them bad boys all right now to season this is what you're going to need a half teaspoon of salt and you're also going to need a half teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of the onion and one teaspoon of the garlic powder now you want to add a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning or chicken seasoning to that you want to add a half teaspoon of cinnamon powder one teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning half teaspoon of ground ginger one tablespoon of dried parsley flakes two tablespoons of paprika or smoked paprika Next up, we want to add one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm using the dark brown sugar here and a tablespoon of garlic. Now you want to add a tablespoon of oil, any kind of oil of your choice. I'm using extra virgin olive oil here. Then you want to add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and a teaspoon of hot pepper sauce any one of your choice will do now we're going to season this thing up really really good and i'm going to let it sit and marinate for about half an hour half an hour 35 minutes at the most and we are good to go here okay my darling so after we have done that this is basically what our drumsticks looks like with that good seasoning that we put on there perfect right perfect but this is what I'm going to do here um, as far as marinate the chicken now in the baking tray that I'm going to use to place in the oven we're going to sit it on there and we're going to let it marinate on the baking tray and again, as a reminder, I'm going to do this for 30 to 35 minutes of marinating time, okay? Just make it sit room temperature, write this up, and do what it has to do. Now, my oven is preheated, y'all, okay? So I'm going to put this in a preheated oven. You do not want to put your drumsticks in a cold oven. And I didn't waste any of my seasons. As you can see here, I'm putting everything on my chicken so that it will be perfect. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and pop this baby in the oven, preheated at 350 degrees. It takes 40 minutes to cook all together from back to front. When, you, when you're done within that 40 minutes, this is what it's going to look like, okay? Perfect. The color is gorgeous and it's cooked through and through nice and ready right so now we're going to make a really fast sauce very simple now in this container I'm adding some ketchup and I didn't measure anything I added some oil extra virgin I didn't measure anything and to that I added some barbecue sauce I didn't measure anything it doesn't make sense you measure anything here y'all because the more the better right I just went ahead and added some dry parsley flakes to it gave it a good mix and that's all I did here okay and then this kind of does double that sauce on the chicken you want to be sure that you do this when your chicken is hot all right um if you want to go ahead and heat up your your sauce a little bit you could go ahead and do that otherwise you place it on the chicken as soon as it gets out the oven 
perfect. Um, and another thing, um, don't only do one side of the chicken. You want to go in and you want to turn it. Just flip it, flip it on the other side, on the opposite side. So that way you also could get that good sauce on that side of the chicken. So that way your chicken is not imbalanced. You don't have to put it back in the oven when you're done doing this step. Because you're all done. It takes 40 minutes to get done. You go ahead and just baste your chicken with your sauce. And it completes everything. It's all done here. Okay. Um, so what I did though. Um, after I got done basting the chicken on both sides. I did um, put it in my serving tray. So everybody can just go and just serve themselves. And I did sprinkle a little bit more, just a tad more of um, dried parsley flakes, just for decor decoration purposes. I did slice an orange and decor it out. And that's all I did here. Okay? It's very simple. This easy recipe is one of those recipes that you have to try. I have a similar one, but this one was done with a different twist, okay? So just be sure that you try this recipe, okay? Because you will definitely love it, especially the children are home right now. After school, this is a perfect um, recipe for the children, am I right? Now, of course, I had to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. I couldn't go without showing none of that, right? Because I know you guys would say, oh, it never show me inside of the chicken how to cook. So I had to show you guys at a closer look what it looks like when you do this this way, when you do these jumpsticks this way. Um, I don't know if I did, did, did tell you guys that I did bake it uncovered, just in case I didn't remember to tell you. I'm going to tell you guys now it was done uncovered. But as you could see here, the chicken is nice and moist on the inside, um, filled with flavor on the outside. The flavor went right through to the very bone, y'all. The thing tastes nice. It was really, really good. Now, do me a favor. Spread the love. Bring them, come and send them, come. I'm waiting, goody. And when you get done doing all of that, tell me. When you want to see me cook next? In my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy.